Hi everyone, we're back here with uh, KB Berger and Courtney Imhoff. Yeah. And you guys are here to talk about the hospice ball that's coming yes. up here through the Hospice Care Foundation. Mm -hmm. Hospice Care Foundation is a uh, is a hospice care here in the city of Missoula, and it's yeah. run through um, your own organization, a mm -hmm. nonprofit here in town, to help yes. people with uh, with arrangements. Well, we we're actually really unique. Is that we are a fundraising organization. And so we don't provide direct services, but what we do is like fundraising through special events and activities, and then we're able to give out uh, financial assistance uh, to hospice organizations, as well as hospice patients and their families throughout Western Montana. Oh, cool, so you yeah. help people pay for certain costs. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, provide for them and support them, and oh my goodness, do so much. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Courtney, tell us about uh, the hospice ball. So the hospice ball is on its 37th annual year, wow. which is incredible in and of itself. But the thing that I think stands out is that every year is different for the hospice ball. So it, there's a theme every year. Um, and this year is, is 1940s, Night at the Star. So um, people can really get into it. They can dress up. It truly is a gala mm -hmm. event. Um, and there's so much to do once you get there, of course. You know, it is a nonprofit fundraiser, so there is going to be the silent auction and the live auction, but there's also entertainment, there's multiple photo booths, there's um, bingo, the, or Kino. excuse me, Kino this yep. year. Bingo and um, Kino. Yeah, and, and there's Raffle Alley, and oh, so I mean, yeah. there's just really is anything that you could possibly want all in one night. Cool. Mm -hmm. And this is happening this weekend, right? It's. it's February 23rd. Yeah. Oh, 23rd. Yeah. So it's quite weeks. a ways away. Yeah. Two weeks. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and, it's happening, and it's happening from 6 to midnight at yes. the Hilton Garden Inn. Yep. And it's in the uh, the conference rooms on the, uh, basically on the, it's the south ball side. It's the fire ball ballroom and the rotunda. Yep. Wow. So it, we kind of. It's a takeover. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so how many people did you get last year? And how many people do you hope to get this year? We usually get between uh, four and 500. Wow. So it always really depends upon the weather. Um, we usually sell, you know, between that four and 500. Uh, anywhere between three and 400 actually show up. Uh, it really depends on the weather. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So. So hopefully this will be a year in our favor. Right? <laughs> Unlike this morning, which right. is horrible, but... Uh, well, you know, it's always a prelude to nicer weather, because right. it, 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 it seems so like yesterday is like a switch, and it's like, eh, let's throw some winter at them one more right? time. Yes, let's yesterday we were not wearing jackets and outside in the sun. Yes. 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 That's true. Yeah. yeah. But and you'll be inside, so you don't have to, you know, weather well, regardless. True. You'll be uh, inside enjoying the ballroom and enjoying exactly. a nineteen a nineteen twenties nineteen forties nineteen forties night of stars. Uh, so if you think of like the men with their slacks and their suspenders and their fedora, and then the women with the long dresses and the gloves and the fascinators. So yeah, it's very elegant, very Marilyn Monroe. I there like to go. think. Yeah. Of. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and of course, if uh, they need more information, they can always go to hospiceball.com. Or they can just call us at 541-2255. And one thing, too, that I wanted to mention is we are running an online auction mm -hmm. right now through Town Square Media. So mm -hmm. if people can't make it to the actual event, mm -hmm. they can go online and they can look at some of the items that they can bid. And that will run through the 12th of February. So even if you can't necessarily make it the night of, you can still participate and still give back to Hospice Care Foundation if you'd like to do that. So mm -hmm. they can find out that information through Town Square Media. They can also find it on the website too. Yep. So it's Hospice uh, Foundation, or is it hospicefoundation.org? It's our, well, if you go to the, for the Hospice Ball, it's hospiceball.com. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to learn more about our organization, it's hcfmissoula.com. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. So is there anything else? Um, just one more plug for your... Well, just everybody should come out. It's a great time. Uh, it's super fun. And we just want to make sure that uh, everybody look at the website and on our <laughs> social media on Monday the 12th. We have a little uh, yes. surprise that's going Sneak. to be happening. If some people want to come, they haven't been able to attend before, they haven't come in quite a few years, Please look at our social media, our websites, yeah. or call our office to find out what's happening on Monday the 12th because that's something pretty exciting and really opens the ability to attend to all of Missoula regardless of your income levels. Great. Yeah.
Well, thanks for joining me, guys. Thank, Thank you guys for so having much. us. And stay with us. We got uh, we still got plenty more show.